Hi everyone, in this video we're going to use the shell method to find the volume of a solid. So we're going to find the volume of the solid formed by revolving the region bounded by these graphs, right, and with this condition about the line x equals 5, okay? So the first step in this problem is to draw a rough sketch of the region. So let's go ahead and attempt to do that. So solution. So y equals six over x squared, I have this memorized. I know that it looks something like this, right? This is, this is y equals uh, six over x squared. It's got a vertical asymptote here, and it has a horizontal one here. But then we have y equals zero, and then x is restricted to this interval. So the idea is that we're only over here in this piece here. Let's draw it like this. All right, so basically six over x squared will look something like this, right? We only care about this piece because x is between one and three. So maybe this is one and maybe this is three, okay? And then y equals zero is this horizontal line. So we're basically looking at this particular region here, okay? So this is the region we're looking at, okay? And then, and we're spinning this region, we're taking this region and we're spinning it around x equals five. So a five is over here. So we're taking this region and we're gonna spin it this way and we're gonna get a three-dimensional solid and we're gonna find the volume of that solid using calculus. Okay, so there's a bunch of stuff to know in order to do this. First of all, uh, we're gonna use what's called the shell method. All right, we're gonna use shell. So in the shell method, easy trick. Shell parallel, shell parallel. So step one, you, you draw your, your rectangle. And because it's the shell method, it's parallel to the axis of revolution. This is called the axis of revolution. So you draw your little rectangle like this. So shell parallel, so it's parallel, right? See how it's parallel. Uh, if you're learning the disk method, that's something else, that's perpendicular. Anyways, shell parallel. Then you have to find two things, and I always like to draw a picture, okay? So h of x, in this case, by the way, it's a vertical rectangle, so it's a function of x. Horizontal rectangle, function of y. So it's a vertical rectangle, so you have functions of x. h of x is the length of your rectangle, so this piece here is h of x, okay? p of x, it's called the average radius. It's basically the distance from the skinny part of the rectangle, so from here, to the axis of revolution. So this is your P of X, right? That's your P of X, okay? So you have your H of X and you have your, your P of X. Again, H of X is always the length of the long part of the rectangle. P of X is always the distance from the skinny part to the axis of revolution. Okay, so now we can figure out what everything is, right? So first of all, H of X is easy because this graph here is six over X squared. So H of X, is going to be 6 over x squared, okay, always in this case. And then what's p of x? Well, in order to find p of x, you have to maybe add something to the picture. So the distance from here to here is just x, right? As x varies, it, that distance is just x. This distance here is 5. So p of x is going to be 5 minus x, 5 minus x, 5 minus x. So p of x is 5 minus x. So now the formula for the shell method, it always has a two pi. And we're integrating from one to three, right? Our limits of integration are x values because we have functions of x. So one to three, and the formula is always pH. Okay, it's always p times h. This will be equal to two pi, integral from one to three, and p here is five minus x. And then h here is six over x squared. And then we have a dx, right? And now the last thing to do is maybe just integrate this and, and get the answer. So recap, step one, step one is to draw the picture, right? Draw the picture uh, and then sketch your region. Step two, you, you draw your rectangle. Remember shell is parallel to your axis of revolution. H is always going to be the longer part of the rectangle. P is always the distance from the skinny part to the axis. And then just write down H and P, use the formula, and then I'll leave it to you uh, to finish the uh, integration. The hard part of this problem is, is setting it up. So 
I hope this video uh, has been helpful. I have an entire playlist on uh, disk and shell method problems. So uh, yeah, take care.